Riverside County health care workers are taking self-defense classes hosted by their union this week in light of a recent assault of a nurse at a county facility. SEIU Local 721 said increasingly dangerous working conditions have been continually ignored by Riverside County management. In a recent assault against a nurse at the Riverside University Hospital, a patient repeatedly slammed the nurse's head on the ground and attempted to bite her on the back of her neck until a co-worker came to her defense. The union says nurses at the flagship hospital, health clinics, and incarceration facilities repeatedly endure a working environment where patients can be mentally unstable, suicidal, or homicidal. The union said this environment makes basic safety measures indispensable. KPFK News reporter Michael Flores has more on the -the on-the-job self-defense classes. After a string of attacks on nurses and mental health professionals in Riverside County, the workers joined with the Service Employees International Union to deflect future attacks with a series of self-defense courses. Workers were alarmed when Terry Lopez, a fellow nurse, was attacked at work recently. Roxanne Marquez, an SEIU spokesperson, described the attack. This Riverside County nurse was on the job. Uh, She was dealing with a severely mentally ill patient. Unfortunately, he attacked her and he slammed her head against the ground multiple times and was trying to bite her neck when a fellow co-worker came to her rescue. In response, hospital workers filed a group grievance against Riverside County, demanding more safety precautions in their next labor contract. Well, we have had a series of safety violations for nurses especially who are on the job out in Riverside County. Uh, They feel that management has turned a blind eye uh, to their official grievances, of which there have been two. What exactly are the grievances? That the nurses have been attacked on the job by patients and that they have made these concerns uh, known to management and asked for some form of recourse. Uh, training would be ideal, and that there has been nothing done in response. In a group grievance filed in December, workers at the Hemet Hospital complained about patients stalking them as they walked to their cars, as well as patients throwing bricks through windows. Riverside County officials were unavailable for comment. The union says its response to group grievances has been muted, even though this has been an ongoing issue for months. The workers decided to take safety into their own hands by hosting a series of self-defense courses. Three of them this week uh, that essentially uh, teach them how to deflect attacks and de-escalate them and essentially uh, protect oneself in such a case. Aren't security guards enough for protecting your nurses? They feel pretty strongly that this type of training would go a long way toward, you know, making them feel safer while they're on the job, especially because an incident can happen rather quickly. The lack of personal safety training has a direct impact on patient care in Riverside County. Nurses suffer a high rate of attrition, forcing hospitals to hire temporary workers. Without consistent care from the same nurses, patient care errors are more likely to occur. Everybody has gone into this line of work uh, to care for people, uh, to care for the sick, and um, they take their, the, these jobs you know, very seriously. They go into this field with a very open heart and an open mind, but the bottom line is, is that everybody deserves to go home to their family safe at the end of the day. In Los Angeles, I'm Michael Flores, Pacifica Radio, KPFK.